In this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to set up and analyze the T0 calibration dataset for a Discovery DSC. To set up and analyze the T0 calibration for your Discovery DSC, make sure that you select the calibration menu item here, and it should bring you to a, a window that includes all of the calibration data for that particular DSC. If you're going to set up a new T0 calibration, just make sure that you hit the New button and you will be prompted here to enter in various information about the sapphires that you're going to be using as well as the uh, temperature limits of your DSC. So make sure that you find your red and your clear sapphire for T0 calibration. Enter in the pan number of the clear sapphire and make sure to enter in the exact weight of your clear sapphire in this box here. When you're when you place your red reference sapphire into the tray, make sure that you select the correct pan number. So in this case, you need to make sure that you choose none as your pan type in this drop-down menu. Make sure that there is uh, no mass listed under the pan mass. And make sure that you enter in the correct weight of the red sapphire in this size box. Once you do that, hit apply, select the pan number, when your sample pan and or sample sapphire and reference sapphire locations are correct and the weights are correct, make sure that your temperature limits are correct. You do not need to enter or change the ramp rate. Leave it at 20 degrees C per minute. When you have all of this information correct, you can either place it directly into the running queue and start running automatically, place it into the design view, or in this case, we will select running queue to put it into the running queue for us to run at a future date. Here we're prompted to uh, examine it in the running queue. Once it's in this position here, we can then say start and start these experiments. Once these two experiments are complete, they should be open in the results pane. If they're not, you can open them manually. In this case, we open the two data sets in combination. Once both once data sets are open, you simply need to select both data sets using the control button and uh, clicking on them with the mouse. Once you do that, your calibrate button will become active and T0 calibration will be the, the active item. Once you select T0 calibration, you will get a, a second, uh, third data set that shows up here, which includes all the information that is saved from those calibration results. When you feel that these parameters are, are correct, you can simply hit Save and Apply, and those items will be saved in your T0 calibration set here and can be selected at any time. Once you do this, you're, you're looking to calibrate the remaining portions of your DSC, and after that, you're ready to run some experiments.